Hi folks, uh, Sunday, October the 4th. Trust everybody's fine, all's well. As always, we'll have a few links in the description end. And uh, as you notice, the title of this is Illusion and Reality. And I suppose it's interesting because most of us live in an illusion. You know, we live in our heads as our thoughts, our minds sort of interpret what we see, what we hear what we read, what we're told, and uh, if we, uh, many of us don't question what, we're, what we read, what we hear, what we're told, and so if it's, uh, if it's phony baloney, hey, we're living in phony baloney land, if that's what we accept. It's sort of uh, just a phenomenon, just the way it is, just the way it is. It's, uh, uh, in the uh, in the uh, link section, we'll have an interview uh, uh, with uh, the gentleman who wrote uh, the Creature of Jekyll Island, and it's the truth. It's about the Fed, the Federal Reserve Bank. Most people don't understand that. No, I've talked to bankers who don't really know. So it's intriguing. Uh, you know, maybe you have read the book, or maybe you've listened to this interview. Uh, he's also. Uh, heads up the Red Pill organization. They're having, and I've got a link to that as well. The Red Pill is the, uh, the theory that, you know, today modern uh, pharmaceuticals do not want to cure a disease because if they cure it, they're out of business. So they'd rather create a drug that you're taking on an ongoing basis for the rest of your life. And uh, maybe that causes some, uh, uh, some, uh, other offshoots, and so you create a drug for that. So you get people taking a whole paraphernalia of drugs. And uh, that, that's uh, interesting. There's a convention coming up uh, later, later in October. And of course, the X-22 report is uh, always good. And then I have the IMF. And if you look at the IMF uh, site, uh, International Monetary Fund, uh, lots of illusion there as well lots of illusion there as well. The next big, big you know, the next biggest thing they're going to be sort of uh, uh, getting us all in on is the climate change theory. We all have to sort of buckle down for that. And of course Trudeau is uh, already in trying to increase, planning on increasing carbon tax and going with the green whatever and uh, it's all intriguing. You know, you may know someone who has an electric car and they go on and on about how they're saving the environment. Uh, but you, uh, when you look at the car, they still have batteries, and they have rubber tires. And uh, there's plastics and metal involved in this car. So where did all that come from? Now what is the cost to the environment to dig all that material up, put it all together, and build the electric car? And uh, then where does the electricity come from? See, here on the island we have uh, some natural, uh, we get a lot of water from, fall, from, from nature, from rivers and that sort of thing. Uh, but a lot of places they're, uh, they're burning eco-friendly material. Guess what that eco-friendly material is they're burning in their power plants? It's wood. Think about that, wood. Maybe that's why they say we should, uh, Trudeau said in his last election, uh, campaign that he was going to plant 12, I've planted a billion trees. Guess how many they planted? Well, you already know that. Uh, they planted no trees. It's intriguing. You've probably planted more in your garden. So, you know, we live in, uh, we live in a time uh, of illusion and reality. And as a philosopher once said, our, you know, our life is what our thoughts make of it. We live in our heads. And uh, so there's a billion, you know, so we're all sort of, we all have our own neighborhood. And there's millions, maybe billions of uh, crazy neighborhoods out there of people living in their heads all thinking, real, uh, living this illusion. Easier to believe the illusion than to dig, or dig down and find the facts and then be the only person on the block who say, well, look at this. And everybody hands you a tin hat sort of thing. It's much like the Wuhan waltz. You know, January, February, March, nobody really knew what was going on and you're being really careful. Uh, 
now that all the data and the stats are in, uh, it's not so not as bad as we thought, unless you have pre-existing conditions or you're elderly. And incidentally, that's where most of the fatalities fatalities have come from, uh, from most people who are aged or have uh, pre-existing conditions. And we sort of knew that quick, quite quickly going in, especially after March. I mean, governments did very little to help those folks. But they got everybody out there wearing masks and whatever, whatever, whatever. And of course, uh, talking about that, it's uh, the, uh, the talking heads in mainstream media and the pundits are having a, uh, uh, having a good time, uh, t you know, uh, talking about Trump and uh, his uh, excursion to the hospital. You know, you often wonder, where in the hell would these people be if there weren't a Trump? What would they be talking about? I mean, talk about illusion. How much illusion have uh, the mainstream media spread, and how many people, how many millions of people around the world believe that, believe their crap, believe the illusion? It's amazing. Totally amazing. So anyway, uh, check out those links. I think you'll find them interesting. Next time you go for take your medication, think of uh, that red pill theory. And uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.